Let's talk about methods to get data from websites or from electronic or paper files into Excel, Google Sheets, Microsoft Word, PDF, or any document format you want using ChatGPT. Now, per this graphic you see here, you can fast forward in this video to jump to any data access methodology. Now, before we start, please go here to settings, custom instructions, and make sure you have nothing in here, okay? Or if you have something, just turn it off. All right, method number one, using ChatGPT, copy the data and paste it into ChatGPT and ask it to format the data. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use the paid version of ChatGPT here because it has better responses to my questions. So let's go get some financial data. So let's go together to sec.gov and we will get file or financial statements for Microsoft. And we know the ticker of Microsoft is MSFT. Let's select Microsoft right here. And let's go to the most recent earnings report, meaning an 8K. And I'll click here. And then what I'll do is I will go into the press release here and I'll get the income statement. So you can always do a search control F for income statement if you want to income statement, or you can just scroll down and find it. Okay, cool. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to highlight and copy all of this data right here. And let's now type, put this income statement data into a table and I'll paste it and I'll hit go. And it will put it into a nice table format that I can copy and paste into Google Sheets or any document that I wanna paste it into. Okay, it takes a second or two for this to render. All right, now for some of you, when you do this exercise in ChatGPT, it won't look like a nice table like this. It actually might look like computer code that if you copy and paste just doesn't work in Excel or Google Sheets, et cetera. If you see that, okay, if it doesn't look like mine, meaning if it's a black background with like green text, et cetera, what you can do is you can type this. Show me this in markdown table format without using a code box. And it will fix that issue. Okay, great. Excellent. So we have the financial statement here. And what we can do is we can copy and paste this directly into any document you want. So what I'll do is I'll copy this here. Copy. And I'll go over to Excel and I'll paste it and it works. And all I have to do is just change this to a black font, but these are all numbers nicely formatted in different columns here. It's the exact same thing uh, when you put it directly uh, into Google Sheets. Okay. Um, now, what you can also do if you want, if you find that you're getting the markdown code and it's driving you crazy, what you can do is you can copy this here or just type this directly into your custom instructions. So what I can do is turn on custom instructions and, and just say, show me this, show me in markdown format without using a code box and you can click save. And that will stop you from seeing every table rendered like it's in computer code. Now we can change this also and add another column with calculations in it. So what I'll do is I'll type this, add a column that's gonna show the year over year revenue growth from 2022 to 2023 in percent terms. Add a column that shows the year over year percent change. And I typed change wrong there, but that's okay. It's smart enough to know. And it's gonna add that in directly. So it's gonna show the change from 2022, the September quarter, to 2023. Okay. Here we go. So we will see here that revenue from 2022, 2023 was actually slightly down. We see that cost of product right here was also down. So it shows you the percent change uh, if you want. This is really powerful, yeah. Now let's start a new chat and let's do something similar. I'm gonna go over here and copy this data and say you have a database product that you can only import comma separated value formatted data. So what you can do is, is this. Get the income statement that I will paste here. There's so many ways to do this. 
and show it to me in a CSV format, meaning comma, comma separated value formats. And then you just paste it right here. It's a long document. Here we go. Good. And then once you get this in comma separated value format, you can copy the code here. It's just text. Or you can even select all and copy. And you can paste it into whatever system you have when you want to import in CSV format. For example, there's so many different ways to do this. Yeah. So I'm going to do the entire prompt again, but ask it to save it in an Excel file format. Okay. So recall, we copied the income statement here uh, directly from uh, Microsoft's uh, 8K. So I'm going to copy this. If I can copy, come on, Chris. There we go. Copy. Okay. And then what I'll do is I'm going to say this. Get the income statement from this data and download in Excel format. Paste. Go. Okay. All right, so it's telling us how it's going to structure the data first, um, and then it's going to generate it. Yeah. And you can speed this up by saying, don't give me instructions or any text, just download the file. And it'll, it will do that. All right, it's done. Let's check out the file. I'll click here to download it. And I'll open it up here in Excel Hell. I mean, in Excel. And there it is. It's in Excel format. Let's do it again, though. And let's say that we want the year over year change uh, from 2022 to 2023 but we only want to type one prompt for all of this. So let's do a brand new chat and I'll type the exact same thing again in high speed mode, but I'll add more instructions to add a third column. Okay. All right, let's download this file here. Let's see how the data looks. Open this up. There we go. Excellent. It's got the income statement. Let me make this a bit bigger. It's got the income statement here. It's got revenue, the expense items, etc., share count, earnings per share. And I've got the year over year change here as well. And of course, we know that we can open this as well uh, in Google Sheets uh, format. Okay. Let's do it again, but just ask this to be exported in PDF format. Do it again but get me PDF file to download. And there we go. There is the PDF right there. We can ask them to ask it to render it again by left justifying the first column if we wanted to uh, as well. You can even ask to show without decimal points, et cetera. So you just click here and you open it in whatever PDF reader you have. It doesn't look that pretty, but it works. There it is right there. Okay, cool. You can do the same thing in word format too, which I'll do really quickly in high speed mode. All right, this is a really simple DOC. Right here, docx, you can open this in word format. Oh, it even made the title blue. Uh, and then you can also obviously open this up directly uh, in Google Docs. Okay, let's do one more really quickly. Let's say that we have a bunch of data and we wanna put it into a PowerPoint presentation. So you would just type, do it again for PowerPoint. I'll do this really fast. And here it is here in PowerPoint format. This is particularly helpful if you ask ChatGPT to basically summarize a long document of yours and put, put it in a PowerPoint format with three bullet points per slide. And of course, you can do the exact same thing, but just ask ChatGPT to download this in CSV format. Methodology number three is to take a picture or provide an image of any financial statement, receipt, et cetera, and have ChatGPT turn it into a table. So let's go and get a, a screen print uh, of the income statement for Microsoft. So let me scroll out a bit so I get more real estate in my screen here. Good. And I will take a screen print of this. Done. Okay, cool. And let's go back, back to ChatGPT. And, and then I'm going to click here to get that image that I just took a picture of. That's the one. Good. All right. And then what I'll do is I can ask ChatGPT to turn this into a table. 
Okay. Turn this into a table. Let's hit enter, and it will generate this and put this in table format. And here it recognizes that it's an income statement for two different quarters, the September quarter 2023 and the September quarter 2022. And it's going to attempt to put this in a table format. I'll do this on high speed mode. It asks me a question. It wants to format it a certain way. I'll say Y for yes. Go into high speed mode again to see if it can format it into a table. And you always got to double check all the data, obviously, as well. Yeah. And there you go. It's putting it together into a table here that you can highlight, copy, and paste, put into any document you want to. Of course, you can even download this, as I explained uh, earlier, uh, into any file format uh, as, as well. Yeah, really powerful. Even for taking pictures of any document you have. It's unbelievable. What a time saver. Now, if you've been trying this with me here in ChatGPT, you might have noticed that it's not always perfect or accurate. As a result, I always recommend using multiple AI products, and that's exactly what we're going to do in the next lecture when I show you how to do something similar like this, but using Bing Chat as well as Google Bard and an amazing product called Claude.